Hello guys, so um, in today's video, I'll be recommending three games you can play when you're bored. And the first one being Wingus, where basically, let me play this actually, because it's been a while since I actually played this game. Um, you are either an NPC or a hunter, which is this guy right here with the gun. Um, if you're a hunter, if you are a hunter, that means you will shoot civilians and by civilians they mean npcs and um basically if you're a hunter i mean if you're a hider you're pretending to be a civilian and most of those civilians are npcs and you see this guy right here with the username and the white outline um that means they are pretending to be an npc and trying to hide from the hunter who if um the hunter shoots an npc that is not a pretend person then they will be blind for 12 seconds and um basically this game is just like you know like mafia or something um you have to if you're a hider you have to blend in with the npcs and not try to get shot while completing these tasks here um i can't because i'm a ghost i just joined um white tasks can be completed by npcs and players but if you guys see like one of these spots that are red like this, that means these tasks can only be completed by players. So, um, if you get shot as a hider, then you lose. But yeah, it tells you who wins. And if you get shot, then unlucky, I'm a hider. So I have to act like an NPC and do basically what um, an NPC would do. And the next game is actually really fun. Untail tagging. Now I know most of you guys know this, and for the people who don't, which probably are not too much, it's literally tag. But there's different game modes, which makes this place, which makes this game a hundred times cooler. And basically, the game modes are tag. Um. Oh, this is bomb. You see the top? It says bomb. Um, it's basically like hot potato where if somebody has the bomb, they have to pass it to another person to not die. And it gives you like 30 seconds. I'm a ghost right now because I just joined again. And um, this is like a parkour tag game. There's tag, there's freeze tag. When the freeze tag is a twist, if you get frozen, then if your heart like goes down and down, that means you're about to die. And eliminated. Um, there's always just like a way to get eliminated basically. And yeah. And try to collect these points around the map while you're playing. And also, there's the Juggernaut, Crown, Juggernaut, basically like, just like a really powerful player. People trying to, you know, like, oh wait, no, Juggernaut is like somebody's really powerful. And like, you can steal their like powerfulness. And for a crown, basically, um, you have a crown somebody who start off as a person with a crown and trying to steal the crown from them because you might get peasant which means you're trying to steal from them and then there's always another i mean there's also another game called like slasher i think i i haven't played this in a long time again um basically it's like slasher trying to kill other people in the dark juggernaut oh i, I for i think I mean, chaos right chaos Chaos is very popular. Um, I have to see. I have to see how chaos works. In fact, it's been like it's definitely been a long time since I. It's definitely been like a long time since I played this game. Um, this is the um recoded version, and the legacy version is the older version. I definitely prefer recode because it's more better just updated i just supposed to get the crown i suck at this game but it's pretty fun okay so basically yeah trying to get the crown it's very chaotic oh so I, oh i think it's like all game modes mixed together yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. I saw the slasher guy. Oh, he's chasing after me. Oh, he, he's 
jump away. Oh, I have to get the crown to revive, huh? Okay, yeah, basically that, that's like, this is Untitled Tag Game. And, um, last game is, let me find it in the list here. It is, oh, here it is. I didn't, I somehow did not see it. This game is called Tower World. It is, uh, it costs 50 Robux. And, but it's like really worth it. I mean, I'm gonna play right now. Um, it's like Tower Hell, but better. Now it's only in Alpha, so um, it's it only has like five towers, but it's really worth it. I'd say it's very much worth the Robux, cause honestly, it's a really fun game. And um, basically, what you do in this game is complete these towers. Now the easiest is in my opinion is the sand tower right here um it was the first tower i played it's really fun basically i'll do it um i'll do sand tower with you guys basically trying to get to the top of the tower uh, like tower of hell tower. but it's easier Oops, uh, and more fun this is like just a skyscraper of heaven you know what to do okay so there's these there's geometry dash um, sticky thingies. Um, try not to get pushed out by this stuff. And basically, just mostly parkour and trying to collect these bits. Honestly, it's like really fun. I've completed this. I haven't completed the bakery tower and radio tower yet. Honestly, if you have 50 Robux, I recommend you get this game. But of course, you don't have to. It's optional. I mean, I'm sure it will become like free when it, like, Updates makes them the tower or something. Um, now you can buy these game passes. I don't think like I think this game pass is only good with you know like playing with my friends. And um, yeah, basically this game is the improved version of Tower of Hell. And honestly, I have to say this game is like basically like. Probably like Tower Hell 2.0. But when it gets more updates, it'll become way better because it only has five towers, and the two hardest, in my opinion, is Bakery Tower and Radio Tower. But Radio Tower being the hardest. Um. So yeah, that's basically it for today's video. Goodbye.